This video will show you how to use SteelSeries Engine 3 on MSI Notebooks. The instruction is only valid for MSI Notebook with SteelSeries Engine 3. If your notebook originally came with SteelSeries Engine 2 pre-installed, your settings might be different in this video. Please download and check software manual on MSI official website. The model we have today is G62-6QD Apache Pro, 15.6 inches gaming laptop with latest 6th generation Intel processor. Keyboard by SteelSeries allows multiple keys to be registered simultaneously at keystroke. The design also makes solid keyboard base and adds stronger force feedback for better click feeling. Furthermore, MSI moves the Windows key to the right side, away from panic during gaming by minimizing your game or by opening the menu. Gamers can easily customize every key as hotkey to personalize their own playstyle with SteelSeries Engine 3. It will greatly increase the convenience on key usage. Many MSI notebooks have a unique SSE button. Prepare blue to switch between keyboard layers 1, 2, 3 and 4 currently. Please don't worry if your notebook is not equipped with a physical SSE button. The different layers could be switched easily by function 1 to 4. Here we start with main menu of SteelSeries Engine 3. When the SteelSeries Engine 3 application has been installed successfully, SteelSeries logo will appear in the system tray. Click on the icon to launch the SteelSeries Engine 3. Please also remember that the SteelSeries Engine 3 is only available in selected gaming series only. The My Gear tab lists recognized SteelSeries devices, which can be clicked to access advanced settings. And the Library tab shows what programs trigger a configuration for each device. GameSense is a new feature for SSE 3.4 or newer version. It is the way that your game and keyboard become one. SteelSeries Engine 3 talks directly to your game, which changes your keyboard's illumination in real time, based on in-game events. Ammo, health, kills, money and cooldown timers are things that you can integrate into your keyboard. This function sounds really great, isn't it? Here is a small icon menu from left to right, update, setting and cloud. SteelSeries Engine 3 notifies you for software update. Select the language in settings and learn more about current software in about. SSE also has the ability to backup, share and synchronize configuration profiles through the cloud sync. Simply log in and all configurations will be available wherever you are. My Gear allows users to customize configurations and adjust the color field for the keyboard. Double-click MSI G62 in main window to open the settings. Clicking the launch button brings up the macro screen. Macros can be recorded within a fixed 15 millisecond delay or in real time. Once recorded, the macro and its delays can be edited and saved. First, click Start to record your macros. For example, we are trying to record A key, B key and C key. Second, click Stop to check the recorded macro. Third, set delay option to your preference. Select Save to finish. A simple click of the Manage button allows you to create, edit or delete all of the macros that you may have amassed. Let's check the keys which we edit. View options allow you to show or to hide keys on one, brightness and layouts. Uncheck left to hide keys on one and right to hide brightness and layouts. Both of them are checked by default and you can uncheck them when needed. We can control the LED brightness level by switching modes and in total there are 7 backlight combinations and 10 different modes from Active and Sleep tab. 
Steady mode can light up and remain steady. Gaming mode will only keep the left area of LED enabled. Briefing mode creates the alternating bright and dim color appearance for displaying a pulsating briefing effect. Audio mode will show lights with sound outputted by the laptop speakers or your headphones and will enable different colors of keyboard lighting in accordance to the sound being played. Wave mode can adjust LEDs between the selected color and darkness in a gradation which flows from right to left. Dual color mode can display the whole keyboard LED between two selected colors. Illumination off will close the backlight. We can use Keyzone to assist custom actions to any programmable button. It is easy to click on Keyzone 1 or on Keyzone 2 to bring up Keyboard Editor. All keys except for Function key can be reprogrammed in Keyboard Buttons. Default function can act as a default keyboard function. Keyboard Buttons help simulate keyboard input, for example, we are trying to replace one key to a key. Macros option will call an already edited macro. The Activate option can disable the keyboard when needed. Launch application can launch applications quickly, for example while trying to launch Dragon Gaming Center by Key1. Here is looping function definition. Play once will let every pressing to send signal once only. The delay time and frequency of signal output are not adjustable. Play end times can make the key send signal end times. The delay time and frequency of signal output are adjustable. Repeat while pressing will hold the key pressing to send signals repeatedly. The delay time between signals can be adjusted. Toggle Alter sends signals repeatedly after pressing the button. You can press again to stop sending signals. The delay time between signals can be adjusted. Toggle Hold can also end signals repeatedly after pressing the button. You can press any key to stop sending signals. The delay time and frequency of signal output are not adjustable. You can also open a configuration window on the left to create and edit your various profiles. User can edit RGB color in a software. Just one click on the color zone. You can enter color code or choose the color directly. Live preview allows you to check edited backlight combinations in real time. The default live preview is set to on. Here you can choose your keyboard region. The library tab shows what programs trigger a configuration for each device. Add an application can put the application to library. You can select the device and the configuration you wish to bind to the application. GameSense is a new way that makes your games on notebook become one. You can experience the coolest showtime with CSGO, Dota 2 and Minecraft. Why is this interesting? We will show you with Dota 2. First you can customize game event, effects and flashpoint. When every setting is ready, we can start a fantastic battle. Look, keyboard will change color when health bar is reducing and there is flash warming sign when blood is lower than 20%. So does mana. Keyboard will adjust colors based on mana status and the flash warming light will show when mana bar is lower than 10%. That's really fun and you should definitely try to set it up yourself. Ok, now you should understand what you can do with SteelSeries Engine 3. There is no limit for your own to create marvelous keyboard scripts. Let's review this feature again. My Gear Macro Editor 
view options, active slip lighting effect, key zone, configuration, colors, preview, layout, library, add an application, add another device, game sense, enjoy your game. If you have any further question, please don't hesitate to contact the MSI customer service team. You will find all the help you need on our official website www.msi.com. We hope you find this tutorial helpful. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.